We asked journalists in the greenhouse industry to pose questions they'd like to ask Dutch growers. We asked those questions for them on our recent trip to Holland. Growers have a lot of different alternatives when it comes to biopots today. What are you using and why are you using it and how's it impacting your business? I'd like to ask you both about your experiences with biopots or containers that are made out of something other than plastic, usually some sort of organic or renewable material. Um, what, has your been what has been your experience? My experience is uh, the last two years more, uh, more intensively than the years before. Uh, that um, biopots, the search for biopots, either it's rice or uh, some other products that they can make it of, it doesn't really work as a growing pot. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a grower pot, growing pot which is not only sustainable but also affordable. Because the customers are not willing to pay it yet. And the experience so far is that when you use a rice pot, even if you take the risk that's more expensive, that in six or seven months there is no pot anymore because it's already gone. And um, this way, uh, for this use, it's, it's not a good idea. I know a Dutch uh, Pitmos company who's now already involved for two or three years with all kinds of experiments in uh, perennial plants, so that short uh, growing period uh, plants are here and on. And then uh, what we see over there, that all kinds of types of grass pots and straw pots, important for practice uh, uh, over there in, uh, in Holland from the US, yeah, they just fall apart in the, in the period that they are going to be uh, transported to the, uh, 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 to the consumers and, uh, and then they don't have anything uh, with it, so they fall apart. Okay. So if there's a future for biopods, it would have to be for crops that are produced in a very short period of time? Or you have to uh, uh, innovate a new type of biopod okay. in which you can grow for eight or ten months, yeah. or six months at least, and then even can be used to the consumer too. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. But in the meanwhile, we do have a solution. Uh, in Holland, every plastics by consumers is uh, sorted, is graded. That means that you get a biological dustbin and you got a plastic dustbin. So, in this case, those goes into the plastic dustbin. So, we're talking about that, uh, Holland and other European countries, most of them do recycle. And we used recycled material. So, in this way, we find a good solution, but we're not, we're not happy enough with it. We, we, at least we're trying to find a more sustainable way. Something, something new has to be uh, innovative. Okay, so we're at least reducing our usage of plastics by using uh, recycled products. Yeah, recycled plastics. At least we can do. Okay.